Welcome back to another episode of Made in the Abyss. This is the part of the video where I do a quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction timestamp below. The battle. It's not really a battle. It's a one-sided fucking carnage. Faputa's going all out. Can you blame her? Well, the main culprit was Kian. It's kind of getting off the hook right now. He's the one that made the baby soup and fed it to everybody. But just the fact that everyone kind of participated in drinking that soup. The fact that Faputa's mom had to be the one sacrificed to maintain everybody here. Maybe it does make sense. How about the other hollows that came, you know, afterwards but that weren't the original crew? I mean, you can still argue that because they live in this village, which is basically Inumi, Yud right? It's, it, it's, yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, I get the anger. She was born with it and she's here to fucking lash it out. The really important things that happened last time is Nanachi actually got over Miti by herself. I thought that we got meaty for free until Belaf said, by the way, there's a boundary here. If you walk further than that, she just disappears. I'm sorry. The Nanachi that might have, you know, the, from season one that didn't really develop before all, all of this has happened, right? Before she met Reg and Rico, maybe she'll be inclined to stay here forever and just like stay within permanent comfort. But she walks and she goes beyond the barrier and meaty disappears into the air. I hope it wasn't painful for Meaty when she was kind of like crumbling into pieces. And then the other hollow friends that grew fond of Nanachi are like, Nanachi, take this helmet. It's a cute blue helmet now. She's got a new outfit. It's looking pretty cool. And I'm glad that we were able to resolve that without trading Rico's organs. Well, what the fuck was that about? She's like, I've grown fond of you kids. You know what? I'll let you go free. It's like, yeah, you grew that. F well, I guess he grew fond of them after the trade deal was made saying, hey, you wanna you wanna you wanna help out Nanachi? You gotta give me your eye, your arm, or your organs. It's like Jesus Christ. Thankfully that didn't happen. Faputa's on a carnage. The only one that I thought could help is Reg, and it is Reg. And I thought that the the episode would basically be a carnage while Reg was sleeping. We actually jump forward in time where Reg has woken up. About an hour or two. I forget the time limit. Was it an hour or two hours? I forget. But time passed and we're looking outside and it's like it's not looking good. Everybody's pretty much dead. Everybody's pretty much dead, but Ma's still here. Ma's still here. Ma might die. I don't know. Oh, man. Why can't we go with Venture with Ma too, man? A lot of flashbacks was happening between Faputa and Reg. How Reg still had his memory from the past, right? He met Faputa for the first time. And he was speaking a different language at that time too. Also, his helmet had like a little ornament trinket that's around Faputa's neck now. Um, that's just kind of just to show the relationship between the two. And... I don't get what Reg is doing. She says that he was sent by a mentor, probably from the depth below. The other interference unit, Gabu didn't recognize Reg, but they are of the same kind, except Reg seems to be more advanced because he's more humanoid, while everybody else is pretty much just like a scuba submarine looking machine, right? So Reg is sent by his mentor, and he even mentioned later on about his laser, his ability to rewrite. Rewrite as in basically destroy the properties of the abyss and not let it recycle back into the abyss or basically well There's a lot of different interpretation, but my interpretation is that you know, it's literally incinerate You're destroying something that might not be like Midi for example Wasn't she a pure immortal? Incinerate got rid of that. The rules of the abyss doesn't really Affect Reg the same way as everybody else and that's why he is like the apex interference unit the prince That's able to go through different floors what he mentioned to Faputa when Faputa says, can you use your ability to rewrite to basically free my mother? Rex says, if I use it, I don't know what might happen to me the next time. Which heavily alludes to the fact that when he used it next is when he meets Re Rico in like season one. Uh, the very beginning where Rico's like getting chased by some kind of big monster. Reg saves her by using incinerate. Then he passes out, loses his memory. So I guess the consequence of him using it too much is losing the memory. We know that Reg is powered by electricity afterwards, Rico pretty much shocks him back to life. Well, not that he was dead, but he's batteried up, right? And then he lost all his memories. So does this imply that if Reg is really low on power and he used, you know, the incinerate, he would lose his memories again? And the other note on the battery power is, when was the last time we charged him up? Is that electric chair we, that we shocked him with the only source of energy to charge him or him eating stuff helps charge his energy? I don't know. I don't know what's up with, the, what's up with this internal battery. But if the only way to get a charge is electric shock, well, no. 
when we visited in the movie, this is like old, old time, but in the Bone Dream movie, Rick was on a chair, but it was a torture chair. Was was he getting shocked at that time? I can't really remember. Maybe he was. Maybe we got a little bit of a battery boost from Bone Dream. Maybe all this battery mechanic doesn't really matter. But he did lose his memory. And he didn't really know what might happen if he shot him one more time. He made a promise before he left, right? He said, Fabuta, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna bring my Haku. Haku as in the most important, most valuable thing to him. Is his Haku then Rico? Right? I don't see Rico and Reg being love interests, but she is very important to Rico. I mean, to Reg. And Reg was most likely sent by Liza, the mentor that he mentioned, to tell Rico that, hey, mom's down there. Mom wants to see you. Guide her down here. I don't know. But we brought the Haku down. And, but he lost all his memories. He doesn't remember everything. He, it's slowly coming back as he fights Fapta, right? What Fapta says about the Haku is very interesting too, because everybody only has one soul, therefore one Haku. But Fapta can have three, right? Because of how she was formed, I get—I forget the exact line that she said, but because her soul is like in three shards, I don't know, it, it's separated. Some Blackbeard shit with devil fruit, she can have like three Haku, two more. On top of the one the sign that we see outside of the village, right? So maybe that's coming to come into play later. And at the very end, just when I think the carnage is over, just when we get through all the flashbacks and Reg is crying and say, I remember now. Don't worry, I'm here. What does Papa to do? Psych! You're gonna get the biggest cliff cliffhanger ever. Calls him a fool. You're a fucking idiot. I'm gonna eat you. It's looking like she's about to chomp down on Reg at the very end. Is she gonna really kill him? I doubt it. I doubt it. We're getting baited. What's gonna happen? Well, I don't really know, but I do know that Wazukian has a has an ace of sleep. He has to, right? He has his own cradle of desire that's been infused. I'm not sure if his wish came true, but he was like sprouting his like tentacles all the way through the, the uh, outside of the village, while iron rain in the form of like fire rain is dropping down. I don't really know. Is Wazukian gonna help Rico? I mean, Reg? Probably not, as he was afraid of Reg and Reg just having the incinerator, you know, is the most important threat to destroying the village. Not that there's much of the village left because, you know, Fapita's already in and having carnage. Anyways, let's see what happens after the cliffhanger by watching today's episode. Value. Haku. Value of... These nuts! Got you. Get up? He's talk- Okay, I thought he was talking to- <laughs> I thought he was talking to Reg, but- Okay, the Guardian's still here! The Guardian will listen? Okay. I mean, he did get enveloped by all the black things of the village, you know, so... She's... Reg's Haku, come on! Uh, he, he ran out of battery! Come on, he ran out of memory! Are you gonna destroy Reg's Haku, though? I don't think you guys can do anything. You're all gonna die. Please get out of the way. No, I... Oh! Gabu! Yeah? Gabu to the rescue? Why? Why are you... I... To protect what though? Incorrect. No longer be able to return to what? You shall also lose the Haku that is called Reg. Protect your future. He's powering down. He's done. Gabu, honestly, you did a good job there. Yeah, that's all we needed from you. Fabuta. We gotta get out of here. No! Huh? Who was that? Huh? No, what? Belaf! Oh, Belaf out of nowhere kind of spat something about this face. Just tackled it. She's fine, right? Belloff, can you... What can you do? And Nanachi! Oh, I should have known. I should have known. I didn't re recognize the face. The fa she Look at her! Belloff and Nanachi. Dude, look! Kind of wish Nanachi was riding Belloff on top of his head. Dude. Hey, you're a child too. Look at her new helmet! It's so cool! 
Nanachi's back. Ready to clutch the day. Oh, I, I didn't think that Nanachi would be the one saving us. Time. What are we limited by time by? First and final audience with royalty. Alright, let's go. Nanachi looks pretty confident and happy about this. Let's go. Combo attack from Belf and Nanachi. Belfchi? Sent the mother is strong. Yes. You can tell. Yeah, you he directly he was one of the OGs. Yep, yep. But that means Wick would also get that smell, right? And then yeah, Papata would kill. Oh? What's a gift? Also, in Belaf's defense, he's the one that didn't want to drink soup. He said, this is so fucked up. I feel so guilty. Please stop. Even though it's so tasty. What is the gift? It's just more purple smoke and... Memories of Irumiui? Oh, oh, not the cute turtle rabbit. That got fucked up. Don't show her the bad parts, please. Only show her the good parts. Hey, there he is. There's me. That's that's me. If I'm the... <laughs> oh, no. She's showing her this part, too. Oh, come on. Uh, maybe we should have skipped that part. I, uh, well, seeing Vueco like this, I think, is important. Her eyes are back. <laughs> As I meet my end. <laughs> Salute, Belaf. You went out like a champ. So noble, so honorable. He didn't harbor any type of, like, you know, resent against Papa. Of course not. He just wanted her to know the truth about what happened to her mom. How sorry he is. No, her eyes are coming back. Oh no, oh no. Please stop, please stop. Please calm down, please calm down. The memories, come on! A turtle rabbit! It's still here! Where did she come from? Oh, the turtle rabbit was so cute, man. Oh! Wait, Gabu? No, it's the. Why does a turtle rabbit get fucked up every time? Why? Oh, that's right. We don't have really other monsters from outside are just invading us. Yeah, we don't really. Have oh, it's that guy that was like chasing Reg. Yeah, this guy looks kind of really dangerous. Drag it. Hey. Yeah, it. We we should not. We should get the fuck out of here. We should get the fuck out. It's time to calm down and get the fuck out of here. Can you fight that thing? Can you even communicate to those monsters? I don't think they would ever listen, right? It's not like they're under, like, Papuka's rule here. But again, once they're all gone, then she has no reason. Oh my god. No, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Right? How much damage did you just take there? It looked like they were biting down pretty hard. Oh, she got chomped. But, but the village black things, she can envelop her and she can heal back up, right? So it's fine. It's fine. You, you, you destroy like 99% of them. Don't worry. Oh! Oh, I thought her head got cut off there for a second. Uh, now, if she actually gets her head chopped off, can the black things from the village, you know, heal her back up fully? Man, the way that she fights is so fucking grotesque. She always goes inside and comes out and just destroys everything from within. I'm just kind of losing all reason to exist pretty much. Yeah, exactly. But your reason for exist can change. It can be to go on new adventures. But Riku and Reg and Nanachi! But at this rate... It's, uh, it's not looking too good for her. It's not looking too good for her. Do you feel empathy? Do you feel pity for her? Because it's a poor child getting tortured! I don't want her to die. Yeah. Rag, you gotta wake up soon, right? <laughs> to go on more adventures! With Rag and Rikaru and Nanachi! Oh, it's the black things again from the village. It's holding them off. Yeah, heal up, heal up! God, she is so fucked up. Oh, she knows all their names too, like Weko. These things can die too, I get. Yeah. Can they form back or... I guess they're just dead? It's that dragon again. Can you kill the dragon though? Uh, you look pretty injured. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know that you're Fapta the Immortal, but if your body was to get like torn up to shreds here, if your head was to get lopped off, she just come back or is she dead? 
Can you kill an immortal like that? Reg? Or Rico? Who shot that? Gabu! I was still here to protect you! You regret? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Don't worry, Gabu. Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be a happy ending. Although it doesn't seem like it, honestly. They were fun. <laughs> Truly my... Oh, that was his Haku, dude! No! <laughs> Salute to Gabu, man. So his precious memories of Fabuta was his Haku? Bro, that, it's different. It's all the people that you're trying to kill. They're here for you. Could they offer? Eat me. And then if... Oh. And then she can heal up like that? So now it's different. You know how everyone else had to eat Yidemu's baby soup to survive, to grow. Now it's kind of the opposite. They are sacrificing themselves for Fabuta. Irimui's memories, don't forget them! But you can continue to know more things if you go on an adventure! This is... Ugh. She's still eating them. I mean, yeah, I know they're off It's still really grotesque, like... Also, it's no longer those black things anymore. It's more white. Why? What does that mean? Value there. Yes, as long as you go on adventure, Riku and Reg and Nanachi. Yes, there will be value. Come on, there is a reason for your existence to be immortal. Oh, Jesus Christ. That guy got... Sabta? Yeah, that's my food. How dare you eat it? Her hair! It's gotten so much like, more longer. And there's like a gold tint on the sides too, right? Look. Bell last words. You can decide your own value. You can have a different reason for existing. There's two of them now? What the fuck? <laughs> but maybe it's fine that she feel that. And Red, come on. Get up. Fight with Fabta. You'll decide yourself. Just find the meaning of your existence for yourself. Her eyes are totally different. They were never like that before. Uh, what the... Another cliffhanger. Another fucking cliffhanger. That's the episode. That's the episode. There's no poker scene. So, at the end, I think she did realize, you know, I mean, the entire time, this episode was basically Fabuta's, like, reason for existing disappearing. Because every hollow is here to get destroyed by Fabuta for the revenge. But then, because, you know, the outside walls are pretty much done, all the different monsters are coming in and eating, basically, <laughs> everything that Fabuta lives for. Which is kind of fucked because they, those monsters are to die, so that's how they can live. Anyways, the really, really beautiful part of the writing here, and I say beautiful <laughs> hesitantly because everything is so fucking still grotesque and oh, so so cruel. But how Irimui had to suffer, how she had to make the dead baby. She didn't make the dead baby, so Wazkian did, right? Fuck that guy, but he had to do what I do. But fuck that guy, but I kind of like him. But anyway, he's gonna he's gonna ha he's gonna have to deal with his own sins sooner or later. But everybody in the village had to be sustained by Irumi. They were all... Irumi was like sacrificing himself. But now it's different. All the hollows are just saying, please let us help you eat us, right? And then you can get healed back. Just let us offer to you some kind of value. And now, and at the end of the day, when they're all gone, all the hollows are, I don't know, either eaten or destroyed. What is your reason for living? What are you going to do afterwards? I think the most obvious choice is to go on an adventure with Rico and Reg, right? To find new things. To find, to understand new things and to carry on. Because I don't think, you know, her mom would want Fabuta to just go out in flames like this. Just to kill everybody in the village and just die. No, what are you immortal for? It's to help us out in the lower floors when we go below, right? Her eyes at the very end, I've never seen it before. There's like this like green pattern in her eyes that's forming does it have something to do with gabu probably not it doesn't really make sense i don't know all i know and, and like the the village value black blob things were all turning silver when when fapta was getting like recovered by the hollow friends right does it have anything to do with reg's helmet color probably not i'm probably looking too deep into things but 
different color shifts. Paputa is back. She has a different design. Her hair is much longer, right? She's got like gold ends and like streaks in her hair now too. It's a pretty cool design. I wonder if she's going to retain this design moving forward. Like after this battle, will she continue to have it? I don't really know. But what I do know is Nanachi was pretty fucking sick. Nanachi was sick. Bella was sick. Vuek was still kind of stuck with Waskian. I don't know what Waskian doing. Well, we do kind of know what Waskian might be doing. Based on Nanachi's, you know, logical deduction saying, Rico Village, we can't let that happen. There's no way that's going to happen. Although, to Was if you're Waskian, like, that's your only way out. Like, you fucked. He knows he's fucked. He's probably laughing about it. And when he, when it's time for him to face the consequences, he's probably going to go out not begging for mercy. He's probably just going to be like, ha ha ha, yeah, 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 this is life. Bye, right? He's going to be the happy-go-lucky guy till the very end, I think. I can't really hate him because he's doing what he had to do. And we'll see what kind of consequences that he'll suffer. The saddest part of this episode for me, honestly, it was Gabu going out. The part that hit the hardest for me, when Gabu said, These memories with you, they were my haku. And I was like, No! And again, it just hits on a different emotional level because it's a machine. You wouldn't expect a machine to have these kind of emotions. And like, do you guys remember movies in the past, like the Iron Giant? I'm not sure if that's the same one. But basically, whenever like a... a the, uh, maybe I'm spoiling it, but, but friendly robot has to sacrifice himself for the human. And there's such like an emotional tension it, it, it just it just tugs at my heart man when god was said these were my huck your me the memories with you were my huck i was like Gabu, no <laughs> gabu was pretty clutch he also saved rico too right saying i did this for you but that's the episode that's the episode another cliffhanger i think every i think we're on the like home stretch right now i i think with all this new build up to you know up with this new form even though there's you know another dragon has appeared and we're still under the invasion by a bunch of monsters i don't feel really that much in danger because the momentum is building for us to have some kind of victorious triumphant finale i think next episode is the finale unless we're gonna get 13 episodes in this season but i don't really know but hey if you stick down this long if you don't enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos in place to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps you to log and push on my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.